to all that was left was the piece of armor protecting his heart. Hello, you lovely YouTubers. You are oh, no, we're YouTubers. Been joined by Moira today. <laughs> you are joining us for a very special feature once again. Uh huh. We have finally answered your calls, <laughs> and we will do the deleted scenes from Red, White, and Royal Blue. Because let's be honest, the film was fucking amazing, and no one can get enough of it. True. Yes, exciting times. I mean, uh, this this is the gift that never stops giving. I have to say. Yes. Scene after like scene. Like an STD. <laughs> well, those you can get treated. I never want to get treated for this. Since we've actually reviewed the film, we are... <laughs> Licks blow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you do want to catch that. Uh, we've, we've both read it. I have not finished it. I'm on chapter 10. Here she is here. Oh, I didn't do um, that. And also as an audiobook for when I was running. Yeah. Um, but really saucy scenes and kind of inappropriate whilst you're jogging. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah, I wasn't really sure what to do. Yeah. So... Well... I didn't stop. Neither did I. <laughs> I quite it's enjoy good, it, good. to be honest, especially when I'm on the bike, you know, and just kind of... Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Very saucy emails. Red, white and royal blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> I think the book is just a lot more detailed. That was... And it's kind of it nice. Is, it's it actually is. very rare that we watch something and we go... I'm gonna read the book. <laughs> yeah, I don't do that. I think this will always go down as like a great bit of cinema that kind of yeah quality really took quality us by movie. surprise. Yeah. If good. you want to catch <laughs> our full unedited version, which has a lot going for it, to be fair, it really just broke us. There was fans involved in everything. Um, you can check that out on our Patreon, where it's all up there. The good two hours of just yeah, it's a full movie. Yeah. Full movie, so yeah, check that out. How's it going? Great. Don't lie. God, he's so. It's hot. a disaster. Not even Meryl Streep could pretend to like Henry. Okay, <laughs> let's play nice. He's just so insufferable. Like to be this stealthy. Yeah, you're not exactly a walk in the park either. Did you just overhear my conversation? You're actually stealing food from the guest quarters. I was out. I knew they'd have you stocked up. Have you given any thought as to what you might say tomorrow? In the book, this is like dead of night, right? And he's in pajamas. Yeah, they do take liberties, but yeah. I think he looks hotter in a tie. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind the vest either. Let's be honest. You've got that vest. I do. You I told, told you not, not to wear, wear it that vest. Episode. How hard can it be? No, I can't. Listen, if you're How not even going to try, be? there's no point in doing this at all. It does pouting quite well, doesn't it? Mm. The lips, so kissable. Nothing goes better with leftover cake. Good pal. <laughs> At Prince Henry Your Yuck. mate! Prince Henry UK. Hashtag I'm taller. <laughs> Geotag Kensington Palace. And post it. That was very efficient. Would you really be able to get away with that? Wouldn't yeah. like the Prince press Charles. team have to like, you know. Approve it. Approve it. Alright. Probably. What were you thinking? Cornetto! <laughs> Who the hell wrote this script? <laughs> How many like Insta posts do you look now and I think, oh, that's probably fake, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, like all of mine. Oh, so yeah. thank you. Oh, 14,000 likes in two seconds. Impossible. Not possible. Hey, let's make it possible. Don't worry, Your Majesty. I think, oh, he, I think he's really attracted to how, like, efficient he was. I never thought I'd find someone eating ice cream. Sickening. Sexy. Yeah. But then I said that about Heartstop <sighs> as well. They weren't sexually eating ice cream, they were sexually, they were sexually ordering, ordering ice, cream. ice cream. Is the common thing ice cream or the sexy people? I'm a bit worried it's the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I love a cornet. Is that cornetto. your choice of ice cream, a cornetto? Because um, I'm more of like a magnum. No, I do like a magnum. Mm. Yeah. Solero, actually. Oh, I do like a Solero. Yeah, That's I mean... like them getting to know each other still in like the beginning. Cue again, yeah. straight out of the book. I wonder. I do wonder why they cut these though. I mean, it was no, a lot. I think that would have been film. quite good in the movie. Yeah. 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 Listen I to haven't, this. I don't think I've oh, done this bit yet. This is gorge. Yeah. When you told me on our first night together that you couldn't let anyone fall in love with you, did you really mean that? Once upon a time, there was a young prince who was born in a castle. It's like the beginning of Shrek. Born with his heart on the outside of his body. 
that this prince felt everything acutely. Everything seemed to touch and threaten his unprotected heart. His grandfather, the king, sent the suit of Prince of Armour and told him that if he always wore it, nothing would ever happen to him. And the price he paid for his safety was his freedom. Until he met this, this devastatingly handsome young peasant boy and said the most ghastly things to him <laughs> that made him feel truly alive. The prince's armor began to fall away piece by piece until all that was left was the piece of armor protecting his heart. The peasant boy pulled and pulled at this last piece of armor but the prince held it firmly in place. With every tug, the boy made a space in that space. Princess Hart did beat freely. Aww. I don't know why they didn't keep that one in either. He did say it wrong. I think he said the king gave the suit a prince of armour when he meant to say he gave the prince a suit of armour. <laughs> Pretty sure. <laughs> Why they took it out. Yeah, it's probably why they took it out. But that was oh, so touching. But I could have sworn in the book that he writes that in an email. In the context of where we are in the story at that time, like I think the next day he gets too scared and then yeah, runs yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like after that, it doesn't really make sense because he's like he's saying there that he's he can only he can feel free and himself again. Or he's still hanging on to that piece of armor. And that, and that one thing's a thing in the way between them. Yeah, yeah. Now, the Cornetto one's cute, obviously, but that one is like a whole story in and of itself. Yeah. Like, and yeah. it kind of gives you all those, like, cute emotions that you had again watching it. Like... Because the armour is, like, a metaphor for the way we hide ourselves. Yeah. And the way we disguise who we are to kind of fit in with the world and fit yeah. in around other people. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Alex... And he got with a prince. <laughs> and all was good. <laughs> and then he woke up. It was ice cream. <laughs> Cute. Well, that if you good. enjoyed that, let us know. And uh, yeah, comment below what you thought of these deleted scenes. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next whatever it is. Just leave that, don't you? Next. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>